Uh, we love seeing Kiwis fly high this week. The first ever moon mission blasted off from Mission Control Mahia. It's being praised as a giant leap toward getting us humans back to the moon. Seven. This is six, New Zealand's Apollo moment, if there ever was four, to be one. Three, two, one. Tuesday, June 27th, 9.55pm, 2022, mark the beginning of New Zealand's lunar legacy. An electron is in the air and onward to the moon for the capstone mission. That rocket is soaring through this nighttime sky. Mission name, Capstone. It's New Zealand's part in NASA's long-term Artemis program. The goal, send the satellite a guinea pig to test out the orbit for a future floating lab and international space station buzzing around the moon. I know we have been in the moon, but we have never actually uh, stayed in the moon. We have always, you know, just, you know, gone there, you know, be there for a few days and then come back. But this time we can actually use the moon as a practice for or space travel that we want to do in the future. Fly me to the moon. It's Rocket Lab's most complex mission to date. Typical payloads end up 500 kilometres above us, but this project is going outer limits. 384,000 kilometres away, travelling 40,000 kilometres per hour to get there. And it is a team of Kiwis that imagined, created, built, then launched it with serious precision. The most nerve-wracking time is that final burn, we're on the knife edge of escape velocity from the Earth-Moon system. That ballistic lunar transfer needs to get high enough to get that gravitational interaction with the Sun, but not so high that we completely escape the bonds of Earth and fly off into the solar system. Sending satellites to the moon usually requires hitching a ride with a much bigger spacecraft, often costing hundreds of millions of dollars. Capstone costs less than $10 million, a serious innovation for space travel that will allow more business and research to shoot for the moon. Which, you know, opens up, our, as you kind of point out, a whole raft of really, you know, affordable and exciting things to, you know, to do, not only on the moon, but, you know, other planets as well. So now when you look up in the sky, remember there's our own little slice of heaven in the heavens. Something the Kiwis who helped make it a reality are rightfully proud of. We've been working on it for a long time now. Um, and yeah, just to see all the bits and pieces coming together is really exciting. Going to the moon is uh, only, only a, a very, very small number of countries have ever, ever, ever managed to go there. So to be launching from uh, New Zealand really you know, cements New Zealand's place in the history books. So I'm proud. It really makes me proud. So currently it's kind of whizzing around Earth getting up the speed to slingshot out into space. And I was going to go into some detail, and then I thought, no, I'll give you some something you can use. If you ever get into an argument with an Australian, just say, we've got a space programme. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Does this mean we're about so to, proud. Does this mean we're about to kind of start pretending to live on the moon, or is this the next phase? I guess eventually, or? yeah. 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 Wow. yeah. Look, I am always proud of Kiwis achieving big things, but I just, I hate this very much. I don't like the what? idea of visual. more humans getting closer to the moon. Do you know, like, the other you're, week... You're they... anti-moon? Anti no, I'm pro, very, very okay, pro-moon. Okay, good, yeah, good, good. I'm anti-space pollution. The other week, oh, yeah. they were like, hey, there's some craters up there on the moon. I wonder what they got there from. Was it a Chinese rocket? Was it a Russian? Don't know. There's so much stuff floating around in space already that we don't know what has damaged the moon. The closer we get, the more damage we're going to do. Just leave it alone. We're already this ruining so Earth. Happy. This makes me so happy. Your okay? car has been reading space news. <laughs> <laughs> she teases me so much, but it's here all along. She loves it. <laughs>